We are at Moda Fabrik in Mastel in Danish. And this is where my friend and a couple of her friends have opened this place. It's been closed for many, many years. It used to build ships here on this tiny, tiny island in Denmark, but it traded internationally and had sailors from all over the world. And so this weekend we're here and we're trying to find out what they're going to do with it. They bought it in an auction, very intriguing story. And now they have it and it's this huge, huge place. And it's got so many stories and so many incredible people who have worked here and they're trying to find out how to revitalize it and how to make it useful and valuable to both the citizens of this island and visitors. So let's take a look around. Sounds like it should be a song title, the Red Propeller Room. And uh, there's all sorts of different sizes, and they're talking about using these as a way of sponsoring the space. So you could buy a small, medium, or gigantic red propeller and have your name written on it. And it's a very beautiful collection, actually. It's beautiful. Now look at all these floats. So here we are in the main room of the motor fabric. It is really, really cool. This is where we've been hanging out all day. And now we're going to get an introduction to some of the machines from Diesel. Hi, I'm Diesel. This is like a quadruple drill press. Very giant lathe. Another crazy routing machine. Multiple rod pulley drilling thing. Router. Grinder of some sort. Uh. Hydraulic press, very useful for making things very flat. What do the numbers mean? Well, if you want to make a thread on a piece of uh, metal, you adjust these levers for how steep the thread is, and then it controls the ratio of how fast this thing spins compared to how quickly this moves forward and back. Here we are in front of the Marstel Motorfabriken. Mm -hmm. And what do you think is going to be meaningful about this place? Well, the meaningful, the meaningfulness about this place is what it does to people and how it ties into the local history and the local people. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think it's uh, it's very much about the local people. So I think one of the really interesting things is that they've got all the old guys who used to work here coming to help out on it. And I think that's going to be really, really cool. That's going to be a way to revive history, revive their younger days, and allow them to provide their knowledge to the next generation. Plus the place has a ton of meaning for them. Yeah, exactly. Most meaningful part of making this 
realizing that working together with your friends is the best thing in the world. Det er at bringe mine venner sammen med nye venner. Ja. Og dissekere den her gamle bygning og kigge på alle de elementer, der er der og trække det fra hinanden og analysere og sætte sammen på en ny, spændende måde. Thank you.